Uh, so just want to see the nodding of the head from to whom it may concern that everything is okay and that they're ready. Okay. Uh, good morning, everybody. Good morning again. Morning. You know, and uh, you might be wondering why we're all here looking so thick and span, you know, and smiling away. It's because, you know, we've got two visitors with us, so two special visitors. And uh, I'd like to introduce the first one to you, and that is Pastor Huss. He is the secretary for the Northern Grand Conference, and uh, he is here with us for a very special reason. And for that cause, I will, for those of us who are doing blackout, I think I'd like to see your faces. So I'm that Pastor Hussle, so can see you. And therefore, now to hand it over this time to Pastor Huss to you know, introduce himself and tell us why he's here with us this morning. Thank you very much, Pastor Hush. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Thank you, Elder Griffiths. Good morning. Happy Sabbath, everybody, to my Happy brethren Sabbath. in Bilston. Good to see you. Sabbath. Yeah, good to see you. Happy Sabbath. Let me see. I'm going to scroll along and see if I can see all your faces. Yes. Yes. Most, most of you. <laughs> good to see you all. Um, Bilston is dear to my heart because when I was an intern, I was assigned. My first ever district assignment was to where, uh, back then it was Oxford Street, not Central, Oxford Street, yeah. Wednesfield in Bilston. So special warm greetings from the Hush family to you all today. Um, and uh, well, yes, well, we're here for something specific. Um, thank you for the opportunity at fairly short notice to get a formal introduction your incoming minister. Um, now, I know that Pastor Marijukon is no stranger to you. Uh, he does come from originally, his membership was in Wednesfield, just a stone's throw from Bilston. So I know he's, I know that most, if not all of you, will already know him, but it's a formality, and we're here nonetheless to warmly welcome Pastor Marijukon, Sister Marijukon as well, and little Marijukon you all as your um, ministerial family going forward. He started officially on the 1st of January and he'll be with you into the future. We don't know until when. We hope Jesus will come before his tenor concludes in Bilston. We do hope Jesus will come. But if not, he's with you for the foreseeable future. Um, Pastor Madjukon, and uh, uh, let me say this, this is my personal and humble opinion. Pastor Manajukan is one of our very best ministers, and I say that in every sense. He's a man with a humble heart. He, he, he's, he's as meek as Moses, but don't misunderstand him. He, he can lead as well. Um, uh, he's a spiritual man. He, he's a humble man. And um, he's one of our very best ministers, and I'm very proud and privileged and very honored to share with you that he is your minister going forward. I wish, he would, I wish he could be my minister in my local church, but the Lord has called him to Bilston at this time. Um, and so, Pastor Marajukan, I'd like to give you a few moments to share a word of greetings to the brethren in Bilston. Thank you. Thank you so much, Pastor Hars. That's a, a very generous, gracious, uh, humbling uh, introduction. Uh, I don't know if I deserve that one, but uh, thank you so much. Uh, Happy New Year to everyone at Bilston Church. And I'm looking now at my friends in the coming years. And I'm so glad of the warmth. When I plug in earlier, we enjoy the conversation, but uh, I don't know much of what <laughs> them talk about. <laughs> so... Um, I, I just, uh, maybe uh, let me learn more, I learn more. Uh, <clears throat> so I'm so happy uh, to be with you. And uh, you will have a new sister church. And that is Pendiford. You haven't been with Pendiford before, you haven't been. Or, or a bill, oh, GPK, no? 
Okay, so there is a new Ford Zog three churches together under me, but I would like to say this that to be a minister after two great ministers as Pastor Apia and Pastor Jeff Nicholson is like to feel in a very big shoes or you know put my feet in a very big shoes literally i have i have some old shoes so that, that's gonna be the case um pastor apia um uh, a hard worker a very good pastor who left and then he was um it was pastor jeff nicholson pastor jeff nicholson used to be my senior pastor at camp hill when i started the ministry back in 2006 December and we are still good friends we play uh, before the lockdown we, we play a lot and at some point we became very you know he's my arch enemy in badminton but no longer now because you know um, I, I'm younger so, 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 to, so to speak so but then he is a very strong um, player and he likes to have play singles but um, to the point um, these are, I would consider them as um, the pastors that I really look up to, and they are really good and very good. And so um, it would be with your help that uh, I will be able to fulfill my role as pastor and many other things in addition to the heart of a pastor in our church. And I, I look forward to working with you all. Meanwhile, we are still in this limited uh, very limited means of communication however we still see each other and uh, the work still goes on so thank you so much again i'd like to just welcome pastor to Wilson. from what we have heard and the members have known you is that you are a man of god and uh, we pray that as you come to Bilston and we all work together, not just with the elders, but with the department leaders and members, that we will see the love of God flowing through you and that you will see the same thing flowing through us as well, to you and your family. And therefore, I just like to welcome you and the Ark of Princeton Church to our congregation, and that you staying here and working and worshiping with us will be an experience, good experience, that is, that you have never had from your previous congregations. Okay. So, you know, so welcome to Princeton, Pastor. So thank you and have a blessed Sabbath. And Pastor Huss, the same to you too. And Happy New Year. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, yeah, so all we have to do is we want to just have a little prayer of blessing for Pastor as he begins. And uh, so I invite you now, everyone, just to just to bow your heads with me as we seek the Lord in prayer. Loving Father in heaven, we thank you that we can be alive and see these things happening in, in this world. We look to COVID, we look to the Brexit and whatever else that might happen. We don't know if it'll be a COVID-20 or COVID-21, but we know that you hold the future in your hands. Amen. So we look to these things not as the end. We look to Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith that brings understanding and peace amidst these things. Amen. And we pray in a very special way that as Pastor Marajukon, Sister Marajukon begins ministry now in the Bilston area, I pray that through his ministry, that lighthouse called Bilston Seventh Adventist Church will burn bright. And as they trim the lamp, uh, that it will grow brighter and brighter to share the everlasting and loving gospel of Jesus Christ in that area. We thank you, Lord, for this opportunity, the man of Dukons, to serve. And we pray that you will give them everything that they need to lead and serve well, that they will grow tight with the brethren and that that lighthouse will burn bright. And I remember the old gospel song, uh, let the lower lights keep burning, send a gleam across the waves, some poor struggling, helpless seamen, you may rescue, you may save. And we know that you're going to save souls in Bilston in the next year, the years to come. And we thank you for that. Bless him, bless Sister Marajukon, little Marajukon as well, as they come together with the, with the members in Bilston. Bless them all in the
the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Amen.